transforming, there existed an alien race known as the Terrachaps. They were pretty civilized, and they had growing technology. Their biggest technology was spirit. They could know where every member in their race was. However, there came that day when their uh, galaxy exploded. Every, uh, every star kind of blew up, planets were dispersed everywhere, and everyone was separated. All but one. And what did he have at his disposal? disposal? The most high-tech uh, ship they had. With this ship, he could detect all other uh, family members that were in the neighboring area. So in this game, you play as this alien in the ship, and you must locate your uh, fellow race members. However, they're trapped in planets, and all, the, all they can do is send out these signals so that you can find where they are. Yeah. So you know, uh, 
I'm not sure if the guy from the info group is still here. Where? Oh, <laughs> you know, if you're interested, you can contact us so we can port it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we can, yeah, for all you guys, take my card and email me all the projects. Are really, really cool. Oh, okay. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, let's just continue. Yeah. So the interesting, like, the interesting thing about our project is, like, um, like we, we took a lot of time designing the, the base class, sort of like the general framework. So we tried to make it pretty reusable so you could basically build a lot of games on top of it. We just created like a, a simple class that handles like a waveform binary input, and that can come from any device. So you could basically use that framework to okay, just create just let it die. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so you, you press start again, and then you're like, yeah. You just press a button. Yeah. And, and then it starts, it starts you from the very beginning of the game again. Uh, yeah, um, but the thing is, like, uh, it resets everything to its original state. And uh, I'm, I'm hoping we can show them the picture of the, the, oh. the alien in the middle. Yeah. So. Uh, okay, so the, what you're actually looking for is what the arrow we're pointing to, which is a planet with an alien face in the middle of it. And once you've tagged it, um, it'll turn it'll turn grayish. And wait, wait, don't don't press. Just, just let it, let it grab you. <laughs> and the point is, is like, let's say level one, you start with, you start with three planets that you have to have. And once those are tagged, you move to level two, which will give you four planets, and then five planets, and then six planets, and so on. Yeah, so on and so on. It just gets harder. You, know. yeah. you can never beat the game. Yeah. How much of this was, uh, did you use some other model for game development, like an engine for Java? This is all you? <laughs> Just Java it's all from scratch. This guy's a graphics master. Hey, uh, <laughs> <is> the graphics <laughs> function? <laughs> all in the Java team? Yeah, Java 2D. And uh, every, all the classes were written by us. And it runs pretty efficiently, so we're happy about that. Like, we added, at one point, 550 planets, and it's still running pretty well. Yeah. We have, like, 3,000 asteroids. <laughs> 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 Accessibility, what else could you, could you do with your framework now that you built it? What more complicated accessibility binary control things could you envision doing? Yeah, well, we actually talked a lot about during brainstorming about how to like apply this to like real time games and stuff. And the thing is, if we break everything into sort of like like states, so like they choose one option and they choose another and then they choose another, you can pretty much create a lot of games that exist at, at, in using uh, just plain binary input. Yeah, so for example, like one of the ideas we had was instead of just, you know, you, you know how you can just go through a planet, uh, we were thinking about if you, you can, you know, just land on these planets in order to uh, redirect where you wanted to go. And so let's say you ran into a planet, you landed, uh, and what it would do, it place a spacecraft at the center of the Earth, and then you could, with the binary input, just click until it rotated in the correct angle, and then you would let go, and then you would press again to let it launch. So it, it helped you a lot in your search for the one planet that we're trying to get. Um, so that was one idea that we had, but we didn't have time to implement it. But that would have been one way to make, uh, you know, even with binary inputs, still make a game enjoyable. That's our space escape game. Yeah.